Hello y'all, what's up? This is Marcel on the Marcel YouTube channel. Today, statement, we're gonna talk about that railroad crossing. Hold on one second. Today, we're gonna talk about that railroad crossing that happened yesterday. And uh, this one came for M MCYT guy, YouTuber, AKA Mr. Preston, want me to do this statement about a railroad crossing or about this Toyota Prius at Davis over there in Dixon. Well, I think it's happening around in the afternoon, around 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So, stay on the rail fender and N NCYT guy was rail fending 545 train was coming down through Dixon. Then at the crossing, that's a black Prius car happened to a little bit of boy the R crossing and damaged up the little circle on the railroad crossing. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, after I saw this video, lucky, luckily, uh, lucky, luckily that train did not hit that Prius. You know, it was so close to the railroad track. I don't know if the train was on track one or track two. So I think that I think the car was a little bit hogging on track number two. You lucky, lucky enough that uh, 545 has the SC44 SEMA Charger 2103 was leading off. And uh, you guys know that SEMA Charger 2103 just got repaired and came back like about three months ago. We don't need another SEMA Charger going back to the shop and get re repaired again. You know, that's gonna take like about five to six months to get that train fixed again because they just got all the parts back and uh, they, just got that, they just got that train fixed, you know, that engine fixed. So anyway, for, for my railroad safety advice people that's in the car, do not avoid the railroad crossing. If you see those cars activated there, do not ignore the red, yellow signals or your railroad crossing signals. Do not ignore that. Then earlier today, while I was rail fanny, the coast, not the coast star, like I was rail fanny the uh, Union Pacific train. Then all of a sudden, these two girls was trying to be like me across the street, recording the train then once the R's are going down, these girls didn't want to wait. They just ran across the railroad train and the train was like, like this much feet away from them, okay? So anyways, that's pretty much what happened today. And, uh, and uh, that's all I gotta say. People out there are so stupid and putting their life on the line about doing that. Please don't ever ignore the the railroad crossing signals. Once those arms goes down, you stop and wait and wait for that train to go by. That's a lot of casualties lately and a lot of engines have been damaged for the last couple of months and a lot of people been suiciding on the train too much. Walking on railroad tracks, I caught that back in Martinez. And a lot of people like to play on tracks. It's not railroad tracks are private property, okay? They are private property. Okay, tracks are not a toy, and people just cannot walk on it. I see a lot of trespassers walking on the uh, Nile subdivision lately at Fruitvale Avenue. So, my advice, people, you know, do not ignore the crossing. Once those things are down, you wait and listen, and wait for the wait till the R's go back up, all cleared again. Then it's safe for you to go. Okay, so. Anyway, that's my statement for today, all right? Any questions, comment, feel free to like, subscribe, or share, okay? I'm Marcel Hall. See you later.